Elon Musk, the creator and CEO of SpaceX, has long dreamed of colonizing Mars and has stated that a starship will likely be the private company's primary vehicle for future space travel. However, SpaceX's Starship rocket system may be able to assist in the removal of space debris. Now, join us as we tell you how SpaceX's Jump Collector works. But before that, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell button to be notified whenever we publish a new video. Orbit firms are racing to send satellites into space from Elon Musk's SpaceX to Startup OneWeb to provide worldwide internet service on Earth. Experts think there is one major issue, the development and hazard of so-called space jump. What is space jump? According to the European Orbit Agency, ESA, over 5,000 launches into space since the late 1950s, with almost 9,000 satellites deployed. Around 5,000 remain in orbit, but only approximately 2,000 are operational. Space trash refers to human-made objects in space, including complete satellites or even pieces of rockets. According to the ESA, there are 22,300 identifiable bits of debris, but there might be hundreds of thousands more than are. For a variety of reasons, space debris has become worse. When rockets are launched, various stages of rockets separate from the vessel's main body. These detonate, splintering into many fragments. One of the reasons for the increasing volume of garbage is this. According to the ESA, a significant incident occurred in 2009 when two spacecraft collided, resulting in 2,300 trackable fragments. Of all, there have already been several orbital encounters. For example, the defunct Russian military satellite Cosmos 2251 collided with the active communications satellite Iridium 33 in February 2009, resulting in 1,800 pieces of trackable debris and much more too tiny to see by October 2009. Furthermore, during catastrophic anti-satellite experiments in 2007 and 2019, China and India purposefully created debris clouds. The firing of anti-satellite missiles by governments is another major issue. For example, in 2007, China detonated one of its missiles resulting in a 25% increase in the size of trackable debris. In 2009, India launched a missile against one of its own satellites similarly. There might be a snowball effect as space debris grows. More splintering and trash can happen if more debris travels at thousands of kilometers per hour in space and collides with another item. This floating junk in orbit has the potential to obstruct future space missions and satellite launches as well as send objects hurtling back to Earth. According to many scientists, space trash poses a significant threat to humanity's future usage and exploration of the last frontier. According to the European Space Agency, around 34,000 objects larger than 4 inches, 10 cm in diameter, are now orbiting Earth ESA. It's also much more challenging to get a sense of the tiny things. Still, the ESA figures are terrifying. Roughly 900,000 orbital particles in the 0.4 inch to 4 inch, 1 to 10 cm range, and 128 million shards between 0.04 inches and 0.4 inches diameter, 1 mm to 1 cm. Space Jump Projects Projects to eliminate floating space garbage have been approved. The European Space Agency, ESA, has tasked a partnership led by Swiss startup ClearSpace with leading a mission to remove a specific piece of space trash. A spaceship would be sent at the trash, with an arm reaching out to collect the object. This mission is set to launch in 2025. The Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA, has tasked another startup, Astroscale, to remove space debris, with the mission to launch in 2022. SpaceX's Jump Collector the Starship rocket system from SpaceX may be able to help with the problem of space debris. According to Shotwell, SpaceX, which Elon Musk established in 2002, believes that their Starship rocket may assist cleanup space junk left in Earth's orbit. The rocket can take up to 100 people and transport oversized cargo. SpaceX has previously launched roughly 900 Starlink satellites into orbit, albeit not all of them are operational. As of October,
there were at least 820 operational Starlink satellites in orbit. According to The Verge, this is because a tiny number of them have failed. Also, they have been thrown out of orbit altogether. By mid-2027, SpaceX hopes to launch about 12,000 additional rockets. However, this number might rise to 42,000. Estimates vary, but the CSSI believes there are 760,000 items more significant than a centimeter in orbit, according to Ultra. Because of prominent constellations and the surveillance of more space objects with improved government systems, the frequency of close encounters has virtually quadrupled in the previous four years. The Starship vehicle may theoretically allow active debris removal at her of several potentially massive space objects, according to the representations of the rocket that Ultrog has seen. According to Ultrog, the cleanup effort for the Starship may take at least two years. According to Musk, SpaceX has a fighting chance of delivering an uncrewed Starship rocket to Mars in 2024, who stated this on October 19. This would be two years later than anticipated earlier. If all goes according to plan, Starship will be tasked with launching humans to the Moon, Mars and beyond, as well as super-fast transit on Earth, transporting satellites into orbit, and, maybe, collecting and orbiting extensive and bothersome bits of space trash. Because of the tremendous speeds involved, all of this debris poses a severe hazard to rockets and spacecraft traveling through, posing a solid chance of significant damage to hardware and flight systems. How it works SpaceX's standard operating procedure included orbiting each satellite before it died, but flying at only 340 miles altitude provides a failsafe. Atmospheric drag will bring a dead satellite down to that height in one to five years, enabling it to decompose in the air. According to the SpaceX Starlink page, Starlink satellites may also execute collision avoidance movements independently, utilizing data from the U.S. Department of Defense's debris tracking system. The cost of manufacturing and launching satellites is decreasing, which means that more are being sent into space and causing congestion in Earth's orbital space lanes. A collision or two, it's feared, may start a space trash cascade, with collisions creating more debris, which causes further crashes and so on, resulting in clouds of accident-causing garbage. The Kessler syndrome is a situation that can make space activities in Earth orbit more challenging. This fear is what motivates the spaceflight community to begin implementing mitigation measures right once. SpaceX, in particular, is a crucial driver of population growth. The business has already launched roughly 900 Starlink Internet satellites into low Earth orbit, with authorization to establish hundreds more. This might, however, be the cause of the company's proactive approach to the problem. According to Shotwell, the firm has chosen to decrease the Mega Constellation's operational height in addition to cleaning up space debris. Initially, SpaceX planned for the first-generation Starlink satellites to fly between 684 and 823 miles, 1,100 and 1,325 kilometers in the sky, but a twist in thinking lowered their height to 340 miles. At the same time, Researchers are working on a cleaning cube, SAT called OSCAR, an abbreviation for obsolete spacecraft capture and removal, that would use onboard nets and tethers for hunting out orbit junk on the cheap. OSCAR would be able to do it relatively independently, with little help from ground controllers. The spacecraft is a 3U cube SAT, which means that despite its small size, it will be pretty sophisticated. With onboard navigation and communication equipment, power, propulsion, and thermal control systems, and four net launching gun barrels. Each Oscar satellite will be capable of catching and removing four pieces of debris, after which the cleanup CubeSat will door it in five years. SpaceX is developing a succession of more ambitious prototypes to reach the ultimate Starship design. Six of the company's new Raptor engines will power the last Starship, while roughly 30 Raptors will power the Super Heavy rocket. With that in mind, SpaceX expects to have the rocket spaceship combination operational shortly. For NASA's Artemis program, Starship is in the race to put people on the moon, with the first landing scheduled for 2024. Japanese art collector Yusaku Mizawa has booked a Starship journey around the moon with a launch date of 2023.
What do you think about how SpaceX's junk collector works? Were you amazed by how many junk pieces it could collect? And what are your thoughts about this video? Feel free to drop your reactions and responses in the comment section below. And before leaving, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications on our future content. See you in the next video!